The uses of lack and lacks have great importance in English, particularly in spoken English. In our daily, everyday daily conversation, we use let and lacks frequently. In fact, lets and lack play a vital role in spoken English. In this video, we are going to learn all the uses of let. Generally, there are three uses of let. As uh, an imperative, as an imperative, agnath vakya tarikh, atwa to agnath vakya ma, to solve request, to give instruction, order, etc. And as a let's, let's is a contraction form of let us, let us know to go from and we use this form to offer our purpose to someone. Okay? Darkhas karwa, prastavna mukwa, koi icha ruju karwa mante, apne let's ni vaakir chna chhe, ee khuba jup yok kariya chhe. And let is also a main word, ek mukhiya kriya kar chhe. So we can also use let as a main word in a sentence. So friends, in this video, we are going to learn all the uses of let. This, interest, this video is going to be very interesting and very informative. Please watch this video till the end and learn all the uses of let and lets. And also, today I will teach you how to convert the sentence containing let and lets into indirect speech. So friends, watch this video till the end. of let is in imperative sentence is as an imperative agnat vakyam athwa to agnat va agnat tarike sometimes we use let in imperative sentence to give to make request to give order to give instruction to give advice apne vakya ni andar Vinanti raju karva, sala suchan raju karva mate, let to apne bo upyo kariye chiye. It's a very common format and we use them frequently in our daily routine English. So it's a very mo most important use to learn. Formula, kai itna ban se, to jare apne vakya ni yandha let se to solve request instruction order ena mate jare let vapariye chhe tyare apne vakya ni andar let shuruvat pa muksu karta muksu nahi pachi karma avse karma tarike koi naam hoy sake chhe koi pronoun hoy sake chhe jo pronoun hoy to ni karma vibhakti mukvani chhe hamesha kriya pad nu mul rup muksu karan ke imperative sentence chhe imperative means agna and we have already learned the imperative sentence and we know that we use simple present tense to make imperative sentence. So, in simple present tense, we use the base form of the verb. So, here we also use the base form, the main form of the verb, and other words are always put at the tail or end of the sentence. And I think you must learn and you must know the use of a leg as an imperative to give instruction, to give advice. To so request anamate thamne prayog our word choye. Dakla thari kya akle ek samanya kriya kar laye. Rammu. Rammu matlab thai play. Rammu matlab thai play. Pan aapne kutne kya hoi ke? Rammu a dev. Rammu a dev. To ee kevi ritna banao. Dakla thari kya ene rammu a dio. Ene prasna puchu a dio. Ene bolu a dio. Ene andar au a dio. एने दिया बेस वादियो, एने अंदर आवा देता नहीं, एने बार जावा देता नहीं, so how can we make such sentences in English, how can we form such sentences in English, use very easily by using let in the sentence, in imperative sentence like this, आरिते आपने वाक्यो बन्ना भी सक्की अच्छी है, रम्मु अने रम्वा देव, जम्मु अने जम्वा देव, अंदर आवु अने अंदर आवा देव, okay? दाखला तरीके तेने अंदर आवा दो तेने अंदर आवा दो तेने आपने कई रिटर्न रजू कर सो तो के लेट तेने एटले हिम 
આપણે અહીંયા ઓબ્જેક્ટ માં હી મૂકશું અને એની કર્મ વિભક્તિ થશે હી લેટ હિમ કમ ઇન તેને અંદર આવા દે મને એક પ્રશ્ન પૂછવા દો લેટ મી આસ્ક અ ક્વેશ્ચન મને એક પ્રશ્ન પૂછવા દો તેને બહાર જવા દો લેટ હિમ ગો આઉટ તેને બહાર જવા દો તેને પૈસા વાપરવા દો લેટ હિમ સ્પેન્ડ મની લેટ હિમ સ્પેન્ડ મની સો ફ્રેન્ડ બાય ધીસ વે યુ કેન ફોર્મ સેન્ટેન્સીસ કન્ટેનિંગ લેટ ઇન ધ સેન્ટેન્સ ગુજરાતીમાં આપણે આ રચના ખૂબ જ યુઝ કરીએ છીએ and if you learn this format in english you can speak english very fluently naturally so this use of let is must for you tumne aavo ho joye barobar apne gani var boliye chhe main tumne aaje udaharan apu dakla tarike tene class ma vachva dio let him read in the class ha nakar vakya banavu hoy to apne matra agad ni side pa don't muk so dakla tarike Don't let anyone enter into class. कोई ने अपन अंदर आवा देता नहीं तेने टीवी जोवा देता नहीं तो डोंट लेट हिम वॉच द टीवी डोंट लेट हिम वॉच द टीवी तेने टीवी जो जोवा देता नहीं so friends by this way you can use let in the first uh, part and now we are going to learn the second use of let's and that is let's let's is a short form of let us sometimes you know that sometimes we offer someone we propose someone we urge someone in such situations we use let's so let's learn the second use of let as a let's Okay, friends. The second use of let is let's. Let's say, I am the same job. It took a group. Let us no contraction. Let's uh, let us. And uh, we use let's frequently in our daily day, every day, daily routine. Sometimes when we want to convey some offer to someone else, when we want to urge someone else. when we want to so our desire to someone else at that time we begin the sentence with let's in gujarati we use chalo halo ava apne shabdo che vakya ni pehla mukiye chhe ke vakya ni shuruvat kariye chhe apne koi ne darkhast mukiye koi ne prastav kariye koi ne apne ichha rajju karvi chhe darkhast prastav अथवा तो इच्छा रजू करी तो एना थी आप रचना यूज करेट्स मूकसु क्रियापद मूल रूप अदर वर्ड्स मूकसु गुजराती अंदर एन मतलब थे चालो हालो एवं शब्द थे इन देंटेन्स लेट्स मीन नहीं लेट्स ना कहीं मतलब नहीं थे इट्स जस्ट दटर ऑफ द सेंटेन्स चलो आर चर्चा कर talk over this matter apne kehu che chalo bar jaiye to ke let's go out particularly we use this sentence with someone else to so offer request offer or purpose to someone else means there will be two persons and they when there are only two persons at that time we use the let's in the sentence be vyakti ho vache ni vat hoy tyara shabd vaprasha barobar nakar banavva mate apne notebook so 
डाक नजरे गया लेट्स नॉट वेस्ट अवर टाइम आप लोग समय बगैर सुन नहीं चलो आप लोग समय नहीं बगैर सो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द स्पेशल यूज ऑफ लेट इज लेट्स इन द सेंटेंस इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द सेंटेंस टू सो प्रपोज अर्ज एन ऑफ and generally this type of sentences are really useful in spoken english if you want to speak english fluently if you want to speak english impressively you should you must learn the use of lets in the sentence it's very easy but uh, really helpful in both in spoken english as well as in the examinations so friends this is the second use of let is lets and now Let's move further to the third and the last use of let. Okay, friends, the third and the last use of let as a main verb. It's a common verb, and it shows it. You we use let in the sentence to so to give permission to allow something, someone to do something. अपने allow अने permit जवा शब्दों जे ना बदला में अपने let वा पर ये चीज लेट एक सामान्य क्रियापद है जेवा बीजा बदा क्रियापद है गो राइट कम हियर रीड तो आ बदा क्रियापदो ની જેમ એક લેટ સામાન્ય ક્રિયાપદ છે અને વાક્ય ની અંદર આપણે કોઈ પરમિશન આપવી હોય આપણે કોઈને કઈ કરવા દેવા માટે પરમિશન આપવી હોય રજા આપવી હોય તો એના માટે આપણે લેટ નો ઉપયોગ કરીએ છીએ એ સુઝવલ એની વાક્ય રચના જે આ રીતના બનશે સબ્જેક્ટ પ્લસ હેલ્પિંગ વર્ડ પછી આપણે લેટ મૂકવાનું છે અને પછી ઓબ્જેક્ટ મૂકવાનું છે ऑब्जेक्ट मुक्या पची आपने क्रियापद नो v1 मूल रूप मुक्वानुस टुक में आपने जब पहलो यूज़ सीखा था इन्हीं अंदर आगर सब्जेक्ट प्लस हेल्पिंग वर्ड ऐड करवाना चाहिए अन्य अदर वर्ड्स एस एट द सेंड एट एंड ऑफ़ द सेंटेंस ओके आइए ध्यान ही रख वानुस चाहिए कि आपने कार्ड की असर जैसे हेल्पिंग व the three forms of let are the same means present perfect present past and perfect ena trane roop saman che let 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 kriya par na trane roop che ei saman hoy asaman hoy be saman hoy gani badi vat hoy ma to let che ena trane je roop che vartman kaal etle ke mul roop bhutkaal roop ane bhutkrudan roop trane tran saman che okay तो अपने क्लास प्रश्न पूछवा देता हमारा शिक्षक हमने क्लास में प्रश्न पूछवा देता नहीं तो और टीचर और टीचर साधो वर्तमान काल से ले डज नॉट लेट डज नॉट लेट हमने हमने ने अस क्रियापद नु मूल आस एनी क्वेश्चन मोबाइल खरीदवा दईश नहीं भाई ने मोबाइल खरीदवा दईस नहीं तो आई विल नॉट लेट मै ब्रदर बाय मोबाइल चौकीदारे अमने चौकीदारे अमने घर में आवा दीधा नहीं चौकीदारे अमने घर में आवा दीधा नहीं ओके द गार्ड भूतकाल से ले डिड नॉट लेट अस एंटर इनटू द हाउस 
so friend this is the third and the last use of leg we use leg in the sentence to as a main verb mukhya kriya pad tarike vapariye chhiye in the in the place of allow and permit in the sentence means raja api parvangi api ena hetu mate apne vakya ma let no upyog kariye chhiye so the here you have learned all three uses of let let as a main verb let in imperative sentence and lets to show purpose urge and दरखास्त मुकवा प्रस्ताव मुकवा उपयोग करो फ्रेंड्स दीज इज ऑल अबाउट लेट एंड यू नो देट वी हेव बीन लर्निंग इन डिरेक्ट स्पीच एंड नाउ इट्स टर्न टू लर्न हाउ टू कन्वर्ट द सेंटेन्सिज कंटेनिंग लेट और लेट्स इन रिपोर्टेड स्पीच इन इनडिरेक्ट स्पीच अपने वक्य अंदर डिरेक्ट स्पीच नक्य है जेमेलू particular knowledge of converting let and lets into indirect speech and you know that while converting the sentence from direct into indirect we need to make five changes two changes are irregular and the three changes are regular means the changes in reported speech okay to tumne khabar chhe ke pehlo change chhe reporting verb no chhe reporting verb chhe said to apelu athwa to no apelu to eni badle jo vak reporting verb ma अपने जो रिपोर्टेड स्पीच में लेट है वाक्य शुरुआत लेट थी थे तो महद अंशे अपने रिपोर्टिंग वर्ग तरीके शू वपरशू रिक्वेस्टेड आनी अंदर घनी बड़ी गणवत्वल से देर आर सो मेनी कन्फ्यूज बट वी फॉलो ओनली द सीम्पलेस्ट रूल मीन्स इफ देर इज लेट द सेंटेन्स बिगिन्स विथ लेट इन रिपोर्टेड स्पीच वी यूज रिक्वेस्टेड एज रिपोर्टिंग वर्ग दीज इज द मस्ट फॉलो रूल दूर थी जाए वक्य कनेक्टिव जो वक्य शुरुआत टू वेटेन्स बिगिन विथ लेक्स so we use that as a connective please remember these rules because here there would be the sentence would be start from two ways by using let or lets so you have to take you have to take care while converting the sentence from direct into indirect first you have to identify whether the sentence begins with let or lets and you have to make the changes according to the starting of the sentence okay दूर कर शीखना दाखला 
तो आपने आप आपके अंश ना चाहिए लेट वाली चाहिए तो आपने ना फिर फार कर सो तो सोती पहला ये सेड टू आपने ना मरने वाक कर सो रिक्वेस्टेड ये रिक्वेस्टेड मी लेट वाला वाक क्या मां कनेक्टिव तरीके टू उधर है ना सब तो प्लीज चाहिए रिक्वेस्टेड मी को रिमूव कर सकिए लेट चाहिए मां कहीं फिर फार नहीं था मी मी अटले पहलो पुरुष सर्वनाम ना फिर फार था पहलो पुरुष चाहिए तो कोना मुझे अब तो क्या बोलना स्पीकर स्पीकर चाहिए ही चाहिए तो ही છે એનું શું થઈ જશે લેમ અને કમ ઇન યાદ રાખજો કે જ્યારે પણ લેટ વાપરો તો લેટ પછી ક્રિયાપદ હંમેશા મૂળ રૂપ આવશે તો માત્ર એક જ સેન્ટેન્સ ના આધારે તમે લેટ વાળી રચના છે ને શીખી જશો આરંભથી શીખી જશો આમાં વધારે વધારેની જરૂર નથી યસ એન્ડ હોમ યુ કેન ડુ અ લોટ ઓફ પ્રેક્ટિસ બાય યુઝિંગ સમ રેફરન્સ બુક્સ and yes you must do a lot of practice to learn all these rules because i have some limitations in video lectures it is not possible to give you a lot of practice but you know that at home you have a lot of time in fact you have the whole day with you so please choose or select any good reference book from the market or yes you can find some sentences some ready made sentences on internet so please convert them into indirect speech do a lot of practice and by this way you can learn easily but here i have some limitations so i can't give you so much practice you can understand my situation next apne wale let's wale ek baat ke liye dakhla tarike my friend said to me Let's not talk now. चलो वे बात उन्होंने करी है। तो आने आपने फिर उसको तो वाक्य ची लेट्स थी सर्वात था इसे। लेट्स थी सर्वात था इसे तो क्या my friend said it to me. Said to me suggested. My friend suggested me. Let's पहला वाक्य हमने जोर सु देट थी देट लेट्स हियर वी नो दैट लेट्स इज कन्वर्टेड इन वी शुड और दे शुड सो हाउ कैन वी नो दैट वी यूज वी शुड और दे शुड वेरी इजी बहुत सेल हो छे आपने जोवा के बार नी साइड बोलनर के सांभणनार माथी कोई पण एक पहलो पुरुष होय मींस आई के मी होय बार नी साइड तो आपने यह वी वापर वालों से तो यह जो ही सकता है जब मी चे लापने यह सुबह पर सु वी सूड नॉट टॉक नाउ बस आई तुम ध्यान ना करों से ए स्पीकर और लिस्टर वेदर द स्पीकर और वेदर द लिस्टर इज फर्स्ट पर्सन सिंगुलर वी यूज वी सूड इंस्टेड ऑफ लेट्स डेट इज द रूल अने धारो के धारो के बनने जना बोलना अने सांभरना ये बनने जना थर्ड पर्सन जे ही सी अथवा तो कोई नाउन जे तो आपने ये वापर सु दे ही सु डाकला तरीके he said to his brother he said to his brother let's invest some money let's invest some money so how can we convert the sentence like this he said to said to is the reporting verb and we we change the reporting verb in suggested he suggested his brother now we join the sentence with that let's 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 che to nya su karsu apne to ke bar ni side he and his brother both are the third person so we use they should apne na mate vaparsu they should invest some money so friends this is how you can convert the sentence into indirect speech if there is let or lets in the reported speech so friends i hope that 
you can understand the various uses of lead and leads and uh, also how to convert the sentence from direct into indirect speech this video is really 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 useful to you for both to learn spoken english and examinations so friend here i complete this video and if you like now it's your turn and duty to share and subscribe my youtube channel okay friends thank you very much for watching this video stay on stay stay safe thank you